What's good, y'all? It's Hardy, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Craft. Some just do it for the cash, others do it for the passion. Is you working on your craft? Is you really about that action? The craft. Welcome. Welcome. So I remember in the 90s, uh, growing up as a kid, the only access you had to artists was via television, um, in particular networks, BET, MTV. And when an artist had a visual, which at the time was simply just a music video, it was such a, a big deal because you'd be lucky if they dropped one, really lucky if they dropped two videos a year. Um, and and as we've evolved with the intake and the demand of content in this era, um, it's no longer the case. So I pose the question of, is our visuals that important nowadays as a rapper? To answer that question, I, I kind of think it depends on what type of fan base you have um, and how how established you are as a rapper. Um, for for someone, you know, like a Jay-Z, for a, a J. Cole, for any any artist that's that's been out and is uh, nationally and internationally known, all the rules that apply uh, don't apply. They kind of create the rules. Um, they're the trend makers and the trendsetters. But for artists uh, trying to get to that level or just trying to progress at whatever pace they, they want, I have learned and started to believe that visuals are important. And you can have the debate on whether... Um, it's quantity versus quality or, or if the visuals need to be a certain quality to to matter but regardless visuals matter and uh, social apps like TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat would say otherwise um, they would say that they do matter if you if you run the, uh, on the opposite side thinking that they don't visuals do matter and um, there's just so many avenues you can go um through with creating visuals. One of the big reasons why I think that visuals are, are so important nowadays in, in, in the rap world is people, the attention spans of the average person, and particularly um, the Gen X generation, um, is, is so short that a song, unless it is just the catchiest song of the year, you know, just a, a bona fide banger, a bona fide hit. If you aren't cranking out songs like that, then it's easy for your song to just get pushed to the pushed on as more songs are just constantly being put out. So, um, if you're an artist that just relies on on streaming services to broaden your your fan base, that's really tough unless you're creating just dynamic songs. Um, but if, if you're still an artist who creates really good music, um, a way for it to not be so lost in, in the watered down um, era of music is to accompany, accompany it with a visual, which does not have to be a music video. It can be a visualizer. Um, it could just be the album cover. It could just be you you know, doing a tiny desk, your own tiny desk with the mic, just wrapping it, just something that that is uh, breaks that two-dimensional wall and makes it more three-dimensional by having the visual and the song combined together. Just, just think about how the, the film industry and the movie industry has evolved and you people used to just have to go to Blockbuster or Family Video to, to pick out... Um, movies to watch and now it's then it went to Redbox and now it's just instant on your computer where people can just binge watch visual after visual show movie um, reality show documentary um, the same I feel like can be translated into music with music videos and just as I mentioned before any type of visual that you can creatively 
come up with that gives your audience and potential fans something to appeal to another sense other than just auditory. Um, it gives you the visuals appeal, which I think is just just where we are as a, a humanity right now. We, we like to see things and re receive the visual pleasure, um, a visual stimulation that um, is the most easiest to just understand art in a visual way when you can see what is being presented. Hopefully I think visuals enhance myself as a rapper um, by allowing me to use multiple mediums um, to express my idea. So um, when I was speaking earlier on th the three-dimensional, that was just kind of the phrasing, but what I mean by that is when you record a song and you put it on a streaming surface, that's that's one dimensional to me because that's for people who like if you're re you people who get audio books right and they listen and you're using your imagination to imagine what it what the artist is 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 rapping about in the song and that's that's dope that's one of my favorite ways of consuming music but I also want to pull in people who um, who may not, that might not be their strength is just listening and imagining, especially with the, the way that I rap, it's a little bit faster and unorthodox. So sometimes having a visual accompanying it um, makes it more well-rounded for a bigger audience to consume. And I think, I think what has led me to want to do more visuals, um, not just music videos, but just visuals is just being in the era, like I, I mentioned, of Netflix and Hulu and YouTube and just seeing so many visuals just has sparked a, something new in me where I've kind of fallen in love with um, the process of developing a visual. So now when I'm writing songs, I am thinking about uh, the script for a music video or what type of visual would be dope with this if I if I don't want to use do a music video or if the budget doesn't allow to come up with just something to just keep the content coming because we're in the age of content and we're in the age of content creation and content consumption. I think the biggest thing, the biggest obstacle or hurdle that I had, have had to overcome with creating visuals um, is that they don't have to be always have to be this extravagant perfect thing and when it comes to my music videos I want them to be a certain way because my brand I think it reflects my brand but when it comes to just having visuals um, they don't necessarily have to be so conceptual uh, I, I do hold myself to a high quality of of output so I'm not going to put out visuals that don't meet those standards because I want my channel and my brand to be a certain standard so when people come to my channel or they they see that I have a new visual or music video out they they in their mind are expecting a certain standard so I don't want to now uh, go backwards but my advice would be do not, especially if you're starting out and you don't have any visuals, think about what you want your brand to be. Think about what you want people to perceive you, how, how you want people to perceive you. And then if, if you're okay with just cranking out content to get your name out there, I would suggest that because you can always improve upon it. So the best, the best way I would, the best advice I would give is to just create a visual with whatever comes to mind. I don't. I don't want to uh, give advice because I, I want you to be creative and just. That's how some of the dopest content comes out is just thinking outside the box of of what you can do visually. So to sum this all up, I believe that visuals are the future and the present of being a rapper and. Uh, if you want to expand your fan base beyond just those who like to stream albums, um, 
So, again, I'm Oddity. This is The Craft. Thank you for tuning in. Please hit subscribe. We just, we just became a partner of the YouTube Partner Program. So, my videos are now monetized. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, so we can stay in this algorithm. Um, and we can build these views up and build this fan base up because ultimately I just want to share my knowledge um, that I'm continually gaining and absorbing with you all um, and particularly artists who um, are starting out because I wish I had had the advice I have. And last thing, this Friday, January 28th, I am releasing a new single called Paranoid. It'll be available on all streaming platforms. The link will be in the bio. So... Check that out. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next week.